guys, I'm Kyoko and today I'm going to show you the rarest and hottest to find figures in my collection. If you want to help out a fellow figure collector, please subscribe, that would be very well appreciated. For creating this list, we took three categories into consideration for the ranking. The first one is how many people have this figure. And uh, to get some data on that, we just used my figure collection. The second category is can you find this figure somewhere for sale? And the third one is the aftermarket price. On fifth place, we have Ray from Free, and it's the auto figure, which retailed for 2800 yen. And uh, 291 people have him on my figure collection. He actually isn't that hard to find, but he's quite expensive now with around 25k yen. But Ray isn't even the most expensive one from his set, uh, which would be uh, Nagisa or Soska. I think Soska is very rare as well. Uh, yeah, but still a very expensive figure now. If you want to get him, try eBay. I think there are a few of them on there. On fourth place, we have the Kogami figure from Union Creative. There are two versions of this figure. One is this one that I have, and in the other one he's smoking a cigarette. Uh, but both versions could fall into this ranking, but I just went with him because he's the one that I have. He retailed for 10,000 yen and around 161 people have him on my figure collection. If you want to buy him now, he's usually around 28k yen on eBay, but there was one still left on JFigure which was uh, cheaper, so if you want to get him, go to JFigure and be very quick. On third place we have Chaika from Aquamarine. She retailed for 13,800 yen and around 215 people have her on my figure collection. You can find her with some luck. Uh, I think we saw the most of her on eBay, but she's very expensive now with 38k yen, so almost triple her retail price. And another thing about her is that Aquamarine went bankrupt, so the chance of a re-release or something like that is zero. On the third place we have the U figure from Seraph of the End which was manufactured by Union Creative and it retailed for 9074 yen. So not a lot uh, by today's standards. Uh, and 101 people have him on my figure collection. But the thing about him is you can't even really find him. The only one that we saw for sale was on a set together with Ferit and Guren and it was over a thousand dollars. So very, very hard to find. And if you find him, the price is astronomical. <laughs> And you have to say it's not the greatest figure <laughs> overall. Uh, it looks a bit price figurey and it's kind of small, but again, these are the only figures of Seraph of the End that there are, so yeah, a lot of people want to have them. Have them. Okay, I mean, he's, he's definitely not a bad figure, but you can't really compare him with today's standards of scale figures. On first place, we have the Leon S. Kennedy figure from Kotobukiya from Resident Evil. And he retailed for 14,800 yen and only 73 people have him on my figure collection. I think that number is low because people that uh, collect gaming figures probably aren't using my figure collection as much. If you find him on the aftermarket, uh, which is a big if, he's very expensive. Uh, we had most luck on eBay and he was around 71k yen, which pff, is just crazy how expensive he is now. Uh, if you're interested for all of these figures, we checked the usual Japanese retail sites like Solar's Japan, JFigure, Ami Ami and stuff like that, as well as Mercari and Yahoo Auctions and obviously eBay because we had most luck there, but the prices are very expensive. Leon is actually uh, pretty much the only character on this list where you have multiple figure options and I think that's one of the reasons why the other figures are so high in demand on the aftermarket. Uh, but this one is definitely his best figure uh, and I was so lucky to find him at a local comic shop for around retail and I carried him through the city the whole day and uh, I love him so much and I'm not going to sell him <laughs> anytime and for any price. So these are my top five rarest and hardest to find figures in my collection. Which figures are rare in your collection? Let me know in the comments and which rare and hard to find figures are on your wish list. That would be interesting as well. See you next time. Bye.